So today, we are going back to the basics. I've been making videos about Minecraft servers and plugins for about three years at this point. And sometimes I tend to forget that every single day, there are new people who are just getting into Minecraft server development. And those people might have never installed a Minecraft plugin before, especially these last few months. I've received the question, how do I install a Minecraft plugin a lot? Which is why that is exactly what I'm going to show you today. We're going all the way back to the start and I'm going to show you how to install a Minecraft plugin and how to actually get a server that supports plugins. If you've already set up a Minecraft server before, then this will be piece of cake for you. But this video is for those just getting started. I do want to ask you to double check if you're subscribed to my channel because 90% of my daily viewers is not. Pressing the button is 100% free and you would help me out so much if you did. All right, so uh, how do we install a Minecraft plugin? Well, the first thing you should know is that default Minecraft servers, the ones that you download from Minecraft's own website, do not support plugins. This is because plugins, just like mods, are a community-created thing. So instead of an official server from Mojang, you also need a community-created server to actually run these plugins. Now, there are a lot of different server types out there nowadays that can run plugins. But I'm going to make it easy for you. The two main server softwares you should consider are either Paper or Purper. Now, Paper has been around for a long time. They are very reliable, updates release very frequently, and overall, it is one of those servers that just works. Now, in some cases, Purper might be better for you. Purper is a fork of Paper, which essentially means it is an improved version. But of course, not every single thing that Purper improves is an actual improvement. Some people seem to think otherwise, and they will still prefer Paper today. Now, there are certain Minecraft plugins out there that do require you to run purper and if you want to run one of those plugins then of course go for a purper server otherwise though if you don't know the difference between purper and paper and you are just getting started i would recommend just going for paper it is very reliable very stable and it is just a good server software overall so to download the paper software you want to go to papermc.io link can of course be found down below on the front page you want to click on downloads this will bring you to a section where where you can see all the different softwares that PaperMC is developing. So here we simply want to click on Paper and then you simply want to download the newest version by clicking over here. If you don't want to download the newest version, you can click on the Build Explorer and over there you can download older versions, like for example 1.20.4 or something like that. But if you click here, you will download the latest version. We're simply going to click and there we go. And then next you want to install that server to the place where you want to host your Minecraft Minecraft server. Now, there are two main ways to host a Minecraft server. You can either host it on your own PC, which is in most cases not recommended, or you will host it at a Minecraft server hosting company, like for example, Alienhost. They are a partner of my channel and they offer incredible Minecraft servers for great prices. So if you want to check them out, link can be found down below. And don't forget to use code KASASORA at checkout, all caps, for 20% off your first month. Now, if if you're an alien host, you simply want to go to the file section of your server. If you're using any other Minecraft hosting provider, this process will most likely be the same. But what you want to do is simply drag in the jar file we just downloaded, like that. We will wait for a bit and there it is. Now this process is also the same if you're hosting it on your own PC. The only difference is that if you're doing it on your own PC, you will drag this jar file into a folder on your desktop, for example, and then you can just double click it. Of course, you need to make sure you have Java installed, but double click the jar file and you're ready to go. If you're hosting at a server hosting company, you might have to rename the jar file real quick to, in my case, server.jar. Now, how do I know it needs to be called server.jar? Well, when I go to the startup section, which by the way, most hosting providers should have this, you can see that the server jar file it will be looking for is called server.jar. So the name needs to match whatever it says here. Now, the server version, I could change this to 1.2. 20.6, I don't have to because most hosting providers will automatically adapt. So better safe than sorry, just change it here. And after that, what you want to do is start your server uh, by, by clicking on start. So we're going to click, we're going to wait for a bit. You will get this EOLA message, which you have to accept. By the way, if you're hosting this server on your own PC, you actually have to go into the EOLA 
that YML file and accept the EOLA manually. But after doing that, after booting the server, after your server says, hey, it is running, when we go back to the files of our server, you will see that there is a plugins folder. And this plugins folder, that's a powerful folder. <laughs> so now we can install plugins. And installing sounds very complicated, but it is so easy. What you want to do is look for any Minecraft plugin. If you don't know which plugins to install, I've been covering plugins on this channel for about three years. I have a crazy lot of videos on plugins. Top 10, top 15, top 30. It is all here on the channel. So go scroll through my videos. Look for some epic plugins to install. You will find cool stuff. Trust me, but just go to the download page of the plugin, click on download. Now, the plugin itself will also be a jar file, so that's important. Make sure that when you download the plugin, it is a .jar file. And then the only thing you need to do to install it is go into your plugins folder and simply drag in that file we just downloaded. Like that. There we go. You don't have to rename anything. It is installed. Now, I'm also going to drag in via backwards because otherwise I actually cannot join the server because my Minecraft is running 1.20.4. So I'm just simply going to drag it in. And then your actual last step is clicking on restart. And when your server boots again, here in the console, you should see these plugins appear. So I currently have two installed via version and via backwards. And there it is already. Via version is loading like you can see here. And then over here, you will see via backwards. Now, it is very rare if a plugin doesn't give any feedback here in the console. Most plugins that you install, they will at least give some sort of startup message here in the console. So make sure to look out for that. And also, if you want to make sure that all your plugins are loaded correctly, you can type the text plugins into the console. When you then press enter, it will give you a list of all the plugins you have installed. If one of these plugins appears red, that means you've not installed it correctly. And usually the plugin will actually tell you why. So it could be that the plugin is outdated or maybe it is missing a dependency. So here back in the plugins folder, let me just for fun delete the via version plugin. Now why, you might be asking, well, via backwards requires via version to be installed. Meaning via version is a dependency for via backwards. So when I delete via version and I reboot the server, you can see right away a big error message will appear. Could not load plugin slash via backwards. Now this text here is always a bit hard to read, but if you just read it word for word, you will in most cases eventually find a reason. So here it says unknown slash missing dependency plugin via version. So the console is literally telling you install via version, otherwise we cannot run via Via backwards. And when I now type plugins in the console, you will see the via backwards appears red, which means it is not loaded. The server will still boot, but the plugin is not loaded. Some plugins are a bit more aggressive and they will take down your entire server. <laughs> so instead of appearing red here, they will make it so your server can actually not boot. Some plugins do that, not all of them, but just keep in mind that if you install 10 plugins, for example, and your server is not booting, then one of these plugins is keeping it from booting probably. And that is gonna be it for today. Now you know how to install a plugin onto a Minecraft server. Now that you know how to install plugins, you can install every single plugin that I've covered here on my channel and just follow the tutorials shown inside of that video. I do want to thank you so much for watching. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. Just a single simple click and you would make me so happy. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server, the Casasora Universe. Link can be found down below. And thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support. You guys are truly legends. Like, for real. And then, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!